Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm going to try and make the pressure pumps for the blow torches work today. I think what I've got is a check valve issue. Also the leathers seem to be a bit dried out, so I'm going to go through and clean them and oil them and see if I can make them work. Check valves down here in the bottom. The first thing I'm going to try and do is see if I can unscrew that check valve. I have to be careful because I don't want to break the brass valve. Ah, it's spun loose pretty easily. That's a good sign. I'm going to set this up so that if I drop anything, hopefully I'll drop it into a tray. Chances are really good. Chances are really good that there's either a ball and a spring or some kind of a plunger and a spring because I can see a little spring down through that opening right there. There's the seat. And there's the plunger. That's the leather for the pump. And it's been curled over. Probably should just replace the leather. But it does seem to pump okay. Hoping I can perhaps just straighten that bit of curled over material out. Might be a fool's chase, but worth a shot. Not out anything if it doesn't work. I'm going to clean this, see if I can get some of the tarnish off the end, because that corrosion is going to help hold that seat open, and with the seat held open, it can leak past. So I'm going to get some lemon juice and see if I can't get this brass part washed up.
Now this one doesn't pump at all. Leather is extremely dry, so I'm pretty sure if I oil that, I'm get it to pump again. The check valve is inside this little cap, and I don't think that's something I can disassemble without damaging something. So I'm going to try just washing that up. This is a mixture of lemon juice, water, and salt. You mix them together. And then you put part of it that you want to clean and walk away. Because if you stay here and watch it, it's not going to go any faster. It's not going to do any better. And all that will happen is you will be fiddling with it. It will not improve the action of the materials at all. I'm not going to put this in there because I don't know what that is. I've read where it's lead, and lead shouldn't be bothered by the mixture, but it doesn't look to be too bad. All I'm really trying to do is remove the guck off the end of the pump itself. A little hole in the bottom is definitely open. It leaks right through. I'm going to keep this little spring and the leather out of the lemon juice. Same with that one. Now, the hardest part for me is always just the waiting. I want things to work right now. But patience is a virtue. Could use a little more water in there to get that high enough to get all the way up onto the top of that brass part. So I have source for water in the shop. It's the bleeder and the water stuff.
Oops. And that's why you want to watch it for the first little bit, just to make sure things are working the way they should. About half and half lemon juice with about a quarter teaspoon of salt in it. Now you can go with more salt, kind of individual opinion. I kind of like to have it working slowly. I don't want to have it do a runaway reaction. Most chemical reactions, if you let them heat up, get faster and faster. So if I keep the concentration low, the reaction will be slower and I'll have a better chance of catching it if it starts to run away. We're going to give it a couple hours and come back and check on it.